I'm Eita Ameno, a freshman in high school. I'm a loner and an introvert gamer, and I always play games during breaks at school. I win. Again? You're too good, Sakurano. Karen Sakurano has been starting to get into games lately. Since Sakurano openly said that she likes games, guys have been mobbing her trying to play games with her. <laughs> you can't beat me like that. I thought I got you this time. Can I play with you next? Of course. I'll play as many times as you want. It seems like they're having fun. Even though we're gamers, she actually has people to play with. Unlike me, lots of people want to play with her, so she'll never run out of opponents. I wasn't brave enough to go into that crowd because I'm super shy and not good at talking to people. Just as I was about to go home after the cleaning, Sakurano came to talk to me. Hey Amano, do you want to play games with me? Sakurano? Did you wait for me so that you could invite me? Other people come to talk to me during break, so I thought now was a good chance. Everyone is so weak, and I want stronger opponents. You're a gamer, right? I'll teach you how to play this game. Okay then, what are we playing? This, of course. She showed me a fighting game. I had heard her talking about games before, so I had an idea of what we were playing, but the one she picked was a game I happened to be quite good at. Oh, I have that one. Oh, nice. I thought you would get good at it if I trained you a little bit, but if that's the case, I think I'll be able to enjoy myself from the first match. Bring it on! I was very excited for my first match with a real person, but the match didn't last very long. Um, thanks. It was fun. I got excited and played with my full strength and beat her to bits. It seemed like she was winning against her daily opponents, so I thought she might be strong, but I beat her without getting hit once. What the hell was that? You're unbelievably good! Really? I think that was, like, average. It's not average at all. Or are you saying that I'm way below average? Well, no, that's not what I meant. Ugh, one more time! I know that she won't be able to win against me. We won't be able to have a proper fight unless I go easy on her. But it's harder to go easy now because I used my full strength on the first game. Amano, don't you dare go easy on me! She was a real gamer. To go easy on a person who loves games is a dishonor. There is no honor unless you do your best to beat your opponent. Sakurano, can we finish now? An hour had passed since we started playing. I didn't go easy, as she told me, and I kept winning every game. No! I will beat you in the next game! I... want to go home. Are you going to run away? But it's getting dark. Why don't we play another time? I was pretty tired of the intense session. Her defense wasn't very good, so my attacks hit her easily. She seems like the type that wants to attack first, and so her moves were too obvious and easy to read. If she keeps playing like this, she won't win no matter how many times we play. Okay then, we'll continue another time. She finally gave in. If I hadn't gone full on in the first match, things could have been a little easier. I shouldn't have expected her to be so good. I assumed that she was around the same level as me, even though I hadn't seen her play before. I just wanted to have fun playing games with someone. I don't want to play a one-sided game. I did want friends to play games with, but I think I won't play this game anymore. Amano, I challenge you for a duel. I'll show you how much I've improved. She challenged me again after school. It looked like she was easily beating everyone during the break, but I couldn't believe that she would have improved so much in just a day. Sorry, I'm busy today. Uh, uh, then when are you free? I don't know. I just lied so that I could avoid the game without thinking any further. You aren't busy at all, are you? Why do you think so? You don't want to play with me because I'm weak and it's boring. No, not at all. It's not boring. I just felt sorry because it was more like an execution rather than a game. Let's go then. Sakurano pulled my hand and started walking. Wait, where are we going? Your house, of course. Why? We don't have to worry about the time if we're at your house. How long are you going to play? Until I win, of course. Then we'll be playing forever. Oh, just you wait. I will definitely beat you today. My words made Sakurano even more pumped about winning. I gave in, and she ended up coming over to my house. Uh, let's go, right now! Okay, okay. I was preparing, and just as I was thinking about going easy... Don't you even think about going easy on me! Uh, okay. She wouldn't be satisfied if I didn't do my best. I played as usual, and easily beat her again. Oh, that was just a warm-up! We haven't even started the real thing yet! 
Um, the match was no different than it was yesterday, and I thrashed her. Another match! I will win this time! Um, I hope you do. I won, obviously. Uh, I still haven't reached my potential yet. Ah, uh, I understand she is very passionate about it, but with her playing style, the results won't change. Oh, what the hell? Why can't I win? Should I go easy? Don't you dare! We had been playing for two hours straight, but there didn't seem to be any improvement. It's late, so you should go home. I'm fine. I don't think it's safe for a girl to walk home in the dark. I know you're only saying that because you don't want to play with me anymore. No, I'm actually worried about you. Then, let's make it interesting. Whoever loses the next game will have a punishment. A punishment? The person who loses will have to make dinner. What do you say? You're just trying to eat dinner here, aren't you? That rule means you're having dinner here either way. If you win, you can eat homemade food made by a girl. Wouldn't you like that? I'm not happy winning a game that I can't lose, and making you do something as a result... You think you've won already? Don't you know that a beast is strongest when it's cornered? How can you be so confident? Besides, I don't need a punishment to be motivated. You'll get a treat if you win, though, and I can't afford to lose so easily. Now let's fight! Hey! I'm home! Hey! Hello! My mom came home from work, looked at Sakurano, and seemed very surprised. Oh! <laughs> what a pretty guest! Are you by any chance Aita's girlfriend? No, she isn't. Nice to meet you. I'm Karen Sakurano. I'm Aita's classmate. We play games together. I see. It's nice to know that he has pretty friends. He's always playing games on his own, so... I'll be coming over and playing games with him more often, if that's okay. Mom, long story short, Sakurano made dinner for us today. Oh, thank you so much. You'll join us, won't you? Yes, that would be nice. Even if it was a bet, her skill in playing games didn't change. I did try to refuse, but she insisted since it was a promise, so she made dinner for us. This is delicious. I'm glad you like it. Sakurano was just enjoying talking to my mom. It was a peculiar situation, but my mom didn't mention it. She just enjoyed the conversation. I wonder if this is okay. I felt bad for winning and making her make dinner. And it also felt really weird how she was just blending into our dinner table so well. From that day on, our battles truly began. She would come over to my house every day on her way back from school and lose every match. The one who loses the next match is going to make dinner. Are you eating dinner at my house again? Well, you're going to make it today. She would always suggest that the person who lose make dinner and it became routine. Even my mom was on board with it. Are you sure you are okay with this, Mom? Aita, you need to get this girl. You should date Karen. If you miss this chance, you may never get a girlfriend again. My mom seems to like Sakurano. She's trying to get us together. Even though we were just gaming friends, she expected us to go out. Two weeks had passed. Amano, let's play! What's in that bag? She didn't talk to me on the way back from school, but she came over in different clothes with a large bag. I brought my sleepover stuff so we can play games all night. What makes you think you can do that? I don't remember saying yes, and I don't intend to play games all night. But your mom told me that I could sleep over any time. When did you guys... Even if my mom allows it, I won't... What if I say that we have to take one piece of clothing off every time we lose a game? This is just going to make me look like a pervert, so no, I refuse. Why are you talking like I'm going to lose? You're going to take your clothes off. How can you be so confident? Do you really think you can win? You never know until you do it. She almost forcefully made me play with her. Uh, don't look, Amano. Why did you choose this? She took off her skirt, socks, stockings, and was left with just her t-shirt on. She was glaring at me. That's because I wanted to motivate you to do your best. I was playing as usual without the punishments. You were the one that came up with them. I don't need anything, you know. If I lose next, I'll only have my underwear left. Are you still going to take your clothes off? I said you don't need to. After that, we safely landed on the bed of making dinner as usual and continued playing. Ugh, I'll win the next game. You really are going to stay over then. 
We had dinner, showered, and Sakurano was now in her pajamas. My mom allowed her to stay over and wished me luck. What is she wishing me luck for? I won all the games as usual, but Sakurano just wouldn't give up. No matter how many times she lost, she wouldn't give up. I told you, we're going to play all night. Even though it's a holiday tomorrow, I don't want to play all night. Playing games until midnight should be a piece of cake if you're a gamer. I get what you're saying, but I've been winning the whole time. It would be worth doing if we were on the same level, but I just feel bad playing a game and winning the entire time. I did think of losing on purpose, but I've completely lost the timing to do that. Just you wait. I'll soon be way better than you. I don't know how many times you've told me that. You can't win against me. <laughs> you sound like a final boss. Now that's worth beating. I didn't mean it like that. But you wouldn't be happy if I let you win, right? That's right. It's my manners as a gamer. The satisfaction of beating an opponent that you couldn't beat is on a different level. Even if a game is super difficult, you try every last method to get to the goal. That's what makes games so fun. I'm making a punishment again to motivate you. Wait, let me choose the punishment. Otherwise, you'll choose something bizarre. If you lose, we stop playing today. That way, I will do my best, and you will try hard not to lose. Oh, that's so mean. Do you want to end it that badly? I just want to finish for today. We can play again tomorrow. Okay, fine. I'll accept that. Let's get started then. We haven't decided what we'll do when you lose. I won't lose, so I don't mind doing anything. Then, would you be my boyfriend if you lose? What? You said you don't mind doing anything. Wait a second. What merits do you have when you win? Isn't that more like a punishment? Can't you tell from the fact that I came to stay over? I like you, Amano. What kind of joke is this? Is this a tactic to confuse me? Just as I was questioning her, she came and hugged me. Do you believe me now? Are you... serious? Her tone became serious, but gentle. I like playing games. No one has played games with me like you have, Amano. I want you to be my boyfriend. Do you not like gamer girls like me? Not at all. I've just never seen you like this before. You would challenge me so many times I was thinking of myself as a wall you want to get past. Think about it seriously then. Would you go out with me? Well, I looked back at the days we spent together playing games. It was a little forceful, but I had never played games with someone before, and it felt really fresh. I have to say, it didn't feel bad. I'm happy that you feel like that. I'm just not sure what becoming boyfriend-girlfriend means. Then, let's do things that a couple would do. We have the whole night. What are you going to do? She unbuttoned her pajamas and looked at me with her seductive eyes. There's only one thing a couple would do when they are alone together. Are you staying over so that you can- Hmm, I wonder. Calm down! I was playing a fighting game with her all this time. But now I was playing a real-life dating simulator! What the hell? What's wrong with cheating? I can't do anything without remembering yesterday's conversation! Rika was such a cheerful and nice girlfriend. But she turned into a completely different person. It all changed when I saw a message on her phone. We were supposed to go on a date that day, but Rika was dead in my apartment because she had too much to drink the night before. As I picked up her phone from the floor, she received a text message. Who is this? Is she cheating on me? I opened the message, even though I knew it was going to hurt. There were countless unbelievable pictures of Rika with an unfamiliar guy. Rika, who was sleeping next to me, was making faces that she had never even shown to me before. This was without doubt proof of her cheating on me. The next morning, I questioned her about what she did, but I ended up losing the argument. What the hell? What's so bad about cheating? Plus, I think you're responsible for making me cheat on you. If you didn't want this to happen, you should have stopped being a poor office worker and worked for a big company like him. I bet you could never do that, though. <laughs> Bye! I was a big loser. This happened because I don't have a high income and I'm always working? But that doesn't mean that cheating is okay! But did it happen because I didn't do enough for her? No, no, no! Cheating is still bad! Although, I live in the corner of the apartment building, I bet my neighbors heard the argument. Living next door, 
My neighbors are a mother and her daughter. The mother is a very attractive woman who works day and night. The name of the daughter is Manaka. She would always call me to help her with things, as she was always home alone when she was a small girl. She used to come to me crying, saying, Oni-chan, there was a huge bug. But now she's a very beautiful high school girl who's always quiet. Even when we bump into each other in the corridor, she only says things like hi and bows a little bit. Things have changed quite a bit since she was just a kid. But I guess I'm an adult male, so it's natural for her to act like that. It's making me sad again. Senpai, I heard you're depressed because you got dumped by your girlfriend. Do you need me to invite you for a drink to cheer you up? That's not something a girl who has a boyfriend should say. <laughs> Don't be so mean just because I have a happy life, unlike you. All right. And one more thing. Would you mind if I made a suggestion? Why so serious all of a sudden? I have a lot to do, so make it short. You haven't finished a single task today, so you shouldn't work overtime today. There's no point in you just sitting at your desk. Her eyes look so scary, so I just decided to do as she said. I can't remember the last time I went home without working overtime. The manager who's always moody told me to cheer up. I feel so bad thinking about the fact that my kohai had to say something to him for me. I always eat out, so I might buy some ingredients at the supermarket and cook. That might take my mind off things. Hmm, what should I make? I haven't had karage for a while, so I want to make it. But I can't be bothered to clean up all the oil. Is that Manaka? She's buying a lot of stuff. Maybe she's shopping for the entire week, but still. Looks like quite a lot. Does she want a drink? Or maybe her mom asked her to get some. But she doesn't seem like the type that will ask those kinds of things. Plus, she can't buy them because she's underage. Or maybe she's getting non-alcoholic drinks. I'm so curious, but I shouldn't talk to her. An adult talking to a high school girl could, in worst case, result in getting arrested. But I'm still worried about her, so I'll watch over her from a distance. I'm sorry, but we can't sell alcoholic beverages to underage people. Oh, I'm not the one who's gonna drink it. I knew this was going to happen. I put my empty basket back and hurried to Manaka, who was panicking at the cashier. Sorry, we came shopping together. Uh, I see. Would you press the age confirmation button then? Huh? Shuto Onichan? Why? I understand she was surprised. I just hope she won't think of me as a stalker. You bought quite a lot. Are you going to have a party or something? No, um, thank you for holding the bags. Don't worry. But are you going to drink? Uh, no, no. I'm still a high school student, so... Right. It's been a while since we've spoken like this, don't you think? You're a high school student now. Even though you were so small. Uh, I feel so old. You're still young. Still young. Really? Huh. Makes me confident when a cute high school girl says that. A cute? Shit! These kinds of comments are probably the gateway to being old! Um, thank you very much for what you did today. It reminded me of back then, and I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? I'm glad to hear that. I'll be back soon. Oh, okay. Back soon? The bell rang, and Monica came to my room with a plate full of delicious-looking karage. Huh? What are you doing, Monica? Her face seemed a little stiff. I wonder if she's nervous. Or it could just be that she's always like this. Um, would you like to have dinner together? You liked karage, right? How did this happen? I'm quietly eating karage with a high school girl. This did happen quite often back then, but... That was when I was still a student and she was still a little kid. Me being an adult male and her being a high school girl makes all the difference. Um, Shuto Onichan. The familiar nickname was very nostalgic. But her next words made my brain freeze. You got dumped by your girlfriend, right? Because she cheated on you? Oh, well, uh... I dropped the karage and tried to pick it up. I guess you heard us argue the other day. I'm sorry for being loud. No, it's fine. You're a very kind person, so I thought you were having a hard time. And thinking about that made me hurt. I thought I could cheer you up if we had dinner together like the old times. And you're an adult, so I thought you might like to drink as well. Were you shopping for me? 
She brought the drinks that she had bought earlier. She'd done all of that for me. I probably won't be of much help, but you helped me a lot back then, so it's my turn to help you. She then, without saying anything, picked up Karage with her chopsticks and brought it over to my mouth. Here you go. Open up. What's this all of a sudden? You gave me food like this back then, and it made me happy, so... Uh, I'm an adult now, so you don't have to. But thanks for trying to make me happy. I'm worried about you, so let me help you with things. What could she help me with? Then, I realized that I was laughing. I hadn't laughed for a while, and I felt more relaxed than I had in days. There was no need thinking about it. I decided to accept her kindness. Thanks, Manaka. I'm looking forward to your cooperation. My hands naturally stretched towards her head. I used to stroke her head often when she cried when she was a little kid. Um, Onichan, your hand. Oh, sorry! You're not a little child anymore, are you? That was close. I need to remember that she isn't a little kid anymore. I don't mind. I'm still a child, so you can stroke me like you used to. Oh, um, okay. You seem suddenly cheerful. Huh? Not at all, not at all. It was like the usual quiet Monica suddenly changed into a different person. Sorry for intruding so suddenly today. Um, would it be okay if I spoke to you more frankly like I used to? Of course you can. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow, Onichan. I responded saying, see you tomorrow, without thinking about anything. But who knew? It was the start of an unbelievable life. I hear something very soothing. It's the sound of a knife hitting a cutting board rhythmically. Manaka! What are you doing? I'm making miso soup. What's so weird about that, Onichan? Oh, yeah, of course. No, oh, no, 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 no! How did you get in my room? Calm down, Onichan. I don't think it's safe to put your spare key in the same spot for such a long time. Oh, well, you're 100% correct. Breakfast is ready, so let's eat. It seems like she made breakfast for me. So, this is what she meant by helping me. Looking at her properly, she's grown up to be such a beautiful woman. My manager at work was saying that his daughter grew up so quickly. But he has a point. She's a completely different person from when she was a little kid. I can't eat properly if you're staring at me like that. Sorry! Is it alright if I get your number? I want you to message me something you want for dinner tonight. Yeah, that's a good idea. Her skills with the phone were amazing. She is, after all, a high school girl. I can't keep up. But you have to understand, it's not because I don't have any friends to exchange numbers or anything. There wasn't much to say about how the morning went. But that wasn't it for the day. The evening after I got home from work, Manaka made me dinner. I didn't think she would make me dinner two days in a row, but it was more than welcomed. I decided to take a quick shower and eat dinner. I'm coming in. Oh, the towel? You can just leave it there. Hi there. Manaka! Let's shower together like we used to. I'll wash your back. Like we used to? Is she referring to the time we played with the cold water in the shower when it was super hot? That is not okay! You should get out! What a day. I had to be super careful when getting her out of the shower because I couldn't touch her. Some things just can't be the same as what they used to be. I've told myself so many times, but little kids and high school girls are completely different. She's grown up now, so I need to consider her as an adult woman. Oh, welcome home. What the? If I'm not dreaming, there's a high school girl on my bed wearing a maid outfit, looking shy but seducing me. My friend told me that giving a massage like this is a trend these days. Well, her friend clearly had a good understanding of men. Come and lay down. I'll try my best so you can just relax. Of course, I refuse. I'm so useless. Not at all. Your dinner is delicious. Thanks. Come on. It's time to sleep. Let's go to bed. Okay. That's strange. Manaka is in the bed with me. Is this some kind of prank? Manaka! I just wanted to sleep together like we used to. But I don't think this is... Before I could say that it's not okay, I felt her warmth on my back. 
I know that sleeping alone is very lonely, so I wanted you to have company. Things have been very chaotic since the morning, but I think she told me her true intentions for the first time. She'd been a very patient girl who would hold things in since she was a little girl, so that her mom, who was busy all the time, wouldn't worry about her too much. I think she saw herself in me because I'd been dumped by my girlfriend and was all alone. I remember you never cried in your apartment. Instead, you would always go to that park and cry whenever you were upset. That's because you would always come and take me home. That's why I always slammed the door to let you know I was outside. Really? I knew you would come and pick me up, so that's why I was always crying there. I see. Does that mean I didn't have to buy you those snacks to make you stop crying? Well, that's an entirely different story. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Lots of things happened while I was a student, but the memories with Manaka were all very heartwarming. Oh, yeah. You know, that time when... Monica... <sighs> she fell asleep. She's been doing so much for me since this morning. I guess I'm supposed to make her go back to her apartment, but... But I decided to leave her like this for the night. What? You slept together? Hey, Tomo-chan, keep your voice down. Sorry, but isn't that a little too soon? You're so into it. I was surprised too, you know. His face was right there when I woke up. It's going according to plan then. Why don't you dress like this next time? Men will definitely fall for you if you cook for them wearing this. Apron on top of my school uniform. Is this really going to work? Isn't it a little weird? Uh-huh, huh? Don't you understand men at all? He's a grown man, right? Most people like young girls get it. I see. I'll do my best. At first sight, you look quiet and scary, but you're really serious and believe anything, don't you? I mean, that's what makes you so cute. It had already been basically two weeks since I started living with Monaka. I could tell there was someone behind Monica's back who was having a bad influence on her. But life with her was so amazing, I didn't care anymore. No, yeah, what's so good about that bitch? The Kohai next to me had just been cheated on by her boyfriend and was dumped. It sounded way too familiar. <sighs> Why do you have smooth skin? I bet you don't even understand what I'm going through. Can you even imagine what it feels like to be cheated on? Actually, you do, don't you, senpai? That's right, you're a senpai and being cheated as well. <sighs> Stop complaining during work. And keep it down. I bet you won't come even if I invited you for a drink. I guess I'll be drinking on my own tonight. How sad. I realized the other day, but the reason I have a life like this with Manaka was because my Kohai recommended me to go home earlier than usual. I guess I'll go drinking with her on an occasion like this. Okay, I'll go drinking with you today. Really? Yay! I'll reserve a really expensive place. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that last bit. I guess maintaining relationships at work is part of our job as well. Hmm, I should contact Manaka. Um, I'll be home late today, so I won't have dinner at home. And send. I wonder who it is. Oh, Nichan. Oh, so he's gonna be late. It's a miracle because I'm making curry today. We're just like a couple. And send. Maybe that was a bit too much, but I can't unsend it, so... It's true that I want to be with Onichan all the time anyway. I love you, Onichan. Onichan always helped me when I needed help. He is my prince who defeats scary women who come to my house to sell stuff, the weird men who stalked me, and the bugs that come out in summer. At first, I thought he was like a dad, but I realized it was different when I was talking to my friends about boys we were in third year in junior high. I realized I'm not interested in the boys at school because I like Onichan. After realizing how I feel, I couldn't talk to him because I was too embarrassed, but now I have a life with him. I fell asleep. It's so late. But isn't he back yet? I received a phone call earlier. Maybe it was Onichan. Oh, it's Tomochan. Huh. Isn't this the Onichan you talk about, Monica? Isn't this quite crazy? What does she mean? What is this photo? You're joking, right? I listened to my Kohai talk shit while drinking, and she ended up super drunk. Come on, Haitani. I'll take you home. Pull yourself together. Masayuki, why did you have to dump me? Who the hell is Masayuki? I thought your ex was called Naoya. Oh, well. 
I should probably just get her home. I was finally home. I guess Monica was already asleep. Monica? You're still awake? Shuto and Ichan, tell me if you don't need me. I'll leave you if you want. What are you talking about? Why would you say such a thing? My friend saw you and took this. The sexy looking woman wearing that suit is your girlfriend, right? It was a picture when I was shoving Haitani in a taxi. Well, her skirt is rolled up, and it can be perceived in a very different way. It actually looks very wrong. No, 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 no! This is my Kohai who got dumped by your boyfriend, and... So, basically, she isn't my girlfriend! She's not your girlfriend? So this means you two have that kind of relationship. You're an adult, so you like those kinds of things. It was starting to get out of control. And Monica was panicking and wasn't thinking straight anymore. I hate you! You should have done it with me if you wanted that kind of relationship. Monica! It was dangerous to go out at this hour wearing her school uniform! And what she said was kind of absurd. But now is not the time to think about that. I need to chase her right away. How is she so fast? I already couldn't feel her presence on the other side of the door. <sighs> Monica is so fast! It didn't seem like she went back to her own apartment, so I'm sure she went out. But I couldn't see her anywhere. I bet she's there. Monica would always go there when she was upset. She was at the park, just as I thought. And some guys were talking to her already? She's caught the eyes of several guys in just a few minutes. I guess it means that she is that attractive. I don't have time to be impressed. I need to help her. Come on, Monica. Let's go home. I'm sorry, but she's with me. <gasps> what the hell? Why didn't you say you had a boyfriend? I didn't want to get in a fight, so I apologized to the guys and sat down on the bench with Monica. How did you know I was here? Well... You were always at the park. I'm sorry I ran out. And thank you for saving me from those scary people. I'm the one that's being saved. Back then, and even now. Huh? How? It's not like it's a secret, but I don't have parents, so I don't have a home or a family. So when you came to me for help when you were little, it felt like I had a family, and it made me really happy. So I wouldn't make a new girlfriend without saying anything to the person who has helped me all this time. She really is just a kohai. And she got dumped, so I went drinking with her. I see. I said terrible things to you when I didn't even understand. Monica cried. It's alright, so stop crying. You're gonna make me sad too. Anichan, I'm gonna be okay, thanks. Me too. Now, let's go home. Uh-huh. Let's go back to our home. Oh, would you piggyback me home like you used to? So, we went back to our home. Are you alright? Am I heavy? Don't worry. You're really light. She was really light. She was delicate as a doll. What was difficult was trying so hard so that my hands wouldn't touch her butt. And staying calm while thinking that people might see us like this. I hope no one will take a photo of us like this. I'll be your family, so you won't be alone anymore. Yeah, that's true. And I'm your family, so it's natural for me to protect you too, right? Huh? Well, I guess. To protect? What is she talking about? I had a bad feeling. The other day, this person who claimed to be your ex came shouting, I got dumped by my boyfriend and was looking for some spare key in your apartment. So I told her... Really? And what did you tell her? Me and Shuta are engaged, so don't come near him anymore. What? <laughs> it's my turn to protect you. Rika got dumped very quickly by her elite boyfriend, just like Monica told me. I may have contacted her a while ago, but now there was no need to do that. Why? I already have someone I love. And that brings me to my end of my story. So basically, this is a story about my neighbor, who's like my sister who's usually a quiet high school girl, but in truth, a crybaby and is my sweet, sweet girlfriend. And how she became my true family. Keita, this is Mina, your new mom from today, and her daughter, Yuki. Nice to meet you, Kaita. I'm Mina. I'm delighted to get to know you. Mm. My father had told me about how he was going to get remarried and we were going to have new family members from a while back. 
My new mother, Mina, seemed like a very nice lady. But Yuki... How do I put this? She was... Hmm. Very stuck up. Uh, nice to meet you both. I'm Keita. She seemed like a bomb that was about to explode. So I avoided saying anything about her attitude and just introduced myself. I was still a student, but I had enough life experiences to be good at avoiding unnecessary conflict. However... Yuki, introduce yourself! It wasn't completely up to me to avoid this crisis. Stop! Uh, why are you so on edge? Can't you tell? No. Uh, Cause look at this guy! You never told me that my new brother would be a creep with bangs that cover his eyes! Oh, as expected. It was my looks, but this can't be helped. Hey, don't be rude. What's wrong with being unique? A lot of those idols you like have long bangs, too. Yeah, those are girls and they're manga characters. There's no demand for real guys who hide their eyes. What's the difference? There's a big difference! Hmm, from what I'm picking up, maybe Yuki's a manga or anime nerd. Hmm, what is it? See? That's why I told you to get a haircut. First impressions are super important, you know? <laughs> uh, I'll manage. She is complaining, but Yuki doesn't seem like a bad person deep down to me. I don't think it'll be a big problem. Keita, I'm proud of how mature you've become. Well, I have experienced a lot, you know. But shouldn't you be worried about those two? It seems like they're getting quite heated. While I was whispering back and forth with my father, Yuki and Mina's argument was heating up. Mina seemed like a very nice lady at first, but I guess things can get heated when you're arguing with your own daughter. But I thought it was kind of cute how they were arguing almost like they were sisters. Hey, what are you thinking right now? Dad, I hope you're not reading your son's mind. You better keep your hands off of Mina. Don't worry about that. I prefer being alive. After reassuring my father, I decided that it would be better for me to leave to help calm Yuki down. I've seen situations in comics where the parents get remarried, and the new sister is beautiful but has a scary personality, and the main character gets all panicked or awkward. But for me, this was just another great story to tell. Because I, Keita Shimizu, am the leader of a popular video streaming group with over 3 million subscribers. What's up everyone? It's me, Shisui. I've decided to go off schedule and start streaming live. What? How unusual of you to suddenly come on live, Shisui! Off schedule? Did something exciting happen just now? Oh, let me guess. You were on TV the other day, so now you're starring in a TV series, aren't you? <laughs> nah, I'm not good enough at acting to be in a TV series, so that won't be happening anytime soon. There's something that just happened in my private life that I'd like to share with you all. In your private life? What is it? Good evening, can't wait to hear the news. Huh? I just saw someone named Yuki in the comments for a quick second. Well, I guess it's not that uncommon of a name. And it got pushed back from the other comments anyway, so I shouldn't worry about it too much. For some reason, that name caught my attention. But I was in the middle of a live stream, so I continued talking without letting it bother me too much. Well, the thing is, my dad just got remarried, and now I have this cute little sister. What? Really? Nice. The moment I said that, the comment section was filled with people's surprised reactions. Seems like no one saw that one coming. I would go as far as to say that she's as cute as one of those idols you see on TV. You're such a lucky guy, Shisui. Yeah, I wish I had your luck. I wish I could trade places with that sister. But it seems like we're off to a bad start. You know how I always tell you guys that I disguise myself in private so people don't find out that I'm Shisui. Yeah, I remember you saying that, but I can't imagine you being low energy and gloomy. Aw, seems like your sister is missing out on a big chance because she judged you based on your looks. After finding out that Yuki hated me for my looks, the comment section started going wild with all kinds of perspectives. More viewers came one after another, and I was over 200,000 viewers. The news about my father getting remarried might even be going viral on Twitter right about now. So anyways, I was thinking if any of you could give me good advice on how we could get along better with my new younger... Hey! Open up! Open up! Huh? 
Is that your new sister? Her voice is so cute! Wait, did your sister find out about your live stream? Aw, oh, does this mean we might be able to see your new sister? No, no, I can't show you guys her face. Uh, hold on one moment, please. After saying that, I turned off my webcam in a hurry and opened the door. Yuki, what is... I opened the door and Yuki was there. Right after she yelled at me in surprise, her voice could be heard from the smartphone in her hand. It seems like Yuki was watching my live stream. Oh, I guess I gave myself away. She found out way faster than I thought. All I could do was force an awkward smile. I never would have thought that Yuki was one of my listeners. Am I dreaming? I can't believe that my brother is she. Yep, it's all a dream, so when you wake up, you'll forget all about this. No, this can't be a dream because it hurts when I pinch myself! I didn't think people really did that. Well, seems like this has become a streaming disaster. I was careful not to say her name loud enough for my mic to pick up, but honestly, I was kind of scared to see what was happening in the comment section right now. I guess I better end this stream for now. Sorry everyone, it looks like my sister found out my identity, so... I'll be cutting this stream short for now. We'll be uploading a video later today, so please check that out too. Alright everyone, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! After saying that, I waited a couple seconds and turned off my stream. Um, so... Yeah! Uh, you're the same person I met earlier today, right? What happened? I met one of the people I admire! That's what happened! Oh, okay. I can't believe Shizui's my brother! I feel like I'm dreaming. Uh, yeah. I heard you earlier. There are so many things I want to talk to you about, Shizui! Uh, you had that vibe like, stay away from me earlier. Am I wrong? You're just imagining things. Wow, what a character. She's really just going to pretend like that attitude earlier was my imagination, isn't she? But anyway, let's talk! Hey, stop pulling me! Come on, come on! Yuki pulled my arm as she said that, and made me sit on the bed. <laughs> I'm sitting next to Shizui! Yeah, this is definitely not the same girl I met earlier. Who is this little baby sitting next to me right now? Uh, you seem like you're in a good mood. Yep, just the thought of Shisui spoiling me for the rest of my life makes me so happy! Huh? Wait, how did you come to that conclusion? Did I ever agree to that? Big brothers spoil their little sisters, that's how these things are. Huh? Really? Yeah, especially when a big brother has a new stepsister. Hmm, I'm pretty sure that she completely conjured up that narrative in her head, but I guess she wants me to spoil her for real. Uh, like this? Ah, she's always patting me on my head. When I patted her on her head, Yuki looked really happy. Is this what you wanted? More. Uh, more? Yeah, come on, pat me more. As she said that, Yuki pressed her head up against my hand. It seems like Yuki is a big baby. However... Ah, mm. uh, Mom! I didn't know how long she had been standing there but Mina was watching us. What a 180. I'm so embarrassed as your mother. Mm, you were the one who told me to get along with him. Well, I'm sure that you're not doing this because you took my advice, but rather because you found out how handsome your new brother was, right? No, that's not true. It's because he was Sishui. Yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. Um... Uh... You think you can just pout whenever things aren't going your way? I'm so sorry about this girl, Kaita. No worries. I think Yuki's very cute. So, let's all cheer up. Ah, cute? Shishui just said I was cute. Kaita's just being nice. Don't take it so literally. Well, I did honestly think that Yuki being a little baby was kind of cute. But I don't blame Mina for thinking that I was just trying to be nice either. Big brother... Mom is being mean to me. Yuki didn't like her mother's remark and came complaining to me. I can't believe you're trying to complain to Keita right now. 
And now, Mina was mad that she was being treated like the bad guy. And this is how mother-daughter quarrels start. Don't worry about it too much, Mina. It's not like Yuki's an ill-intentioned girl, and it was my fault for looking so creepy to begin with. Oh my, after the way she treated you, you're so mature, Kaita. Da, he, she, sweet. Uh, Kaita, on second thought, maybe I need to teach this girl a lesson. Yuki had to make a smart-ass remark to piss her off again. I did manage to cool Mina down after that, but Yuki wouldn't leave my side after that. Huh? Late at night, I thought I heard a noise and slowly opened my eyes, and... Excuse me. Uh, hey, what are you doing, Yuki? Oh, I didn't mean to wake you, big brother. Uh, I'm up. What are you doing here? Well, I felt like sleeping with you. Huh? This girl must have been a bull in her past life. To just come rushing in like this is actually quite impressive. I don't think it's a good idea for a girl to be doing things like this. Are you kicking me out? No, it's fine if it's okay with you, but... <laughs> Yay! Thanks! Oh man, how am I supposed to say no to those puppy eyes? But she's cute, so why not? I had mixed feelings, but growing up as the only child, I had always dreamt of having a younger sister. It's not that weird for a boy to wish that, is it? So, having a cute and needy younger sister like this was actually exciting for me, and made me want to spoil her. You're such a little baby, Yuki. Only to you. You like Shisui that much? Yeah, so much. But still, sneaking into bed with me was a little overboard, don't you think? I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Wow, he wanted to do this that bad, did you? Well, it's not a bad feeling to be liked so much, I guess. By the way, why is it that you like Shisui so much, Yuki? I never get to hear directly from my fans like this, so if you don't mind, would you tell me? Oh, you don't remember, do you? Huh? We've actually met before. What? Really? Yeah, many years ago. It might be hard to tell, but I fight with my mom quite often. And that day, I got in a fight with her as usual and ran out of the house. I see. Yeah, and you just happened to be filming with your crew that day nearby. And even though you were in the middle of shooting, you noticed me crying and stopped the camera and came and talked to me. Oh, I think I remember something like that happening. From what I remember, it was before we were popular at all. We found a girl who was crying while we were filming. When we talked to her, she said that she was in a fight with her mother. It sounded like such a childish reason to be crying, and I remember struggling for the words to comfort her. You remember me? Yeah. Didn't we stop filming and play with you? Yeah, you did. That arcade that you took me to that day, I still go there. I was hoping to run into you again. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I don't have time to go to the arcades anymore recently. Yeah, I understand. I figured. But that's not a problem anymore. Now that you're my big brother, I get to play with you whenever I want! Uh, did you decide that for the both of us? Yep. <laughs> At least she's honest about it. Okay, when I have time, let's go somewhere together. Hey, you're gonna use that as an excuse not to take me anywhere, aren't you? Uh, of course not. I'm a man of my words. Okay then, it's a promise. If you break our promise, I'm going to stick a knife in your eye. Isn't it supposed to be a needle? That's too soft. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> uh, I think you're searching for fun in the wrong places. <laughs> Yuki laughed at my comeback. She seemed like she was enjoying our conversation. From there, we lost track of time and talked about those days. When I was first introduced to her, she rejected me. But now, she was very friendly with me. I'm sure that I'll have no problem getting along with her from now on. After a while, Mina heard our voices and came in and dragged Yuki out of my room. Help me, brother! <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> well, it seems like we were off to a good start after all. Yuki always followed me around when I went out to film with my crew. But she's such a cute sister, so I don't mind at all. My other team members seemed like they had something on their minds, but oh well. I wouldn't touch my own little sister. 
or so I thought. But I didn't know yet at this point that Yuki would end up winning me over in a few months. That's only your opinion, right? Uh, well, yes, that is my opinion, but... Sir, can you please stop lying then? It'll be troublesome if everyone gets the wrong answer on the test. Yeah, I apologize. My name is Reita Usui, and for some reason my classmates call me the Logic King. I was the odd one out in my class, but I was already used to it. Still, there was one person who still talked to me. Reita-kun, can you help me study again? Sure. Her name was Narumi Sakuraba, and she was known as the most beautiful girl in the school. Recently she's been coming over to my desk to study, but there was one problem with that. So, like, when are you going to let me be your girlfriend? I'm not going to. What? Why not? I've told you my reasons already. The problem was that she always brought this stuff up. I've been declining her proposals for a specific reason. This all started happening about one month ago. We were on a field trip to a natural park for art class. I kept a good distance away from everyone else to draw. Huh? Yeah! Ouch, gosh. Whoever littered here is the worst! She's angry at someone she doesn't even know? Um, are you okay? Huh? Yeah! You looked, didn't you? Yes, I saw. Pin- Stupid! You're supposed to say you didn't see anything! Why is she upset that I'm being honest? Ugh, I can't believe you looked. Wait, I shouldn't be wasting my time. What are you saying? Just hide me. Huh? Shh, be quiet. What a restless girl. Narumi, I know you're around here somewhere. Huh, I swear she came this way. I thought I heard her voice too. I see. She's probably hiding from this girl, Narumi. Is this the girl that all the guys are talking about? The number one beauty in our school? Did she leave? Yeah, she's gone. So why are you hiding? Playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? Even though you're already a high schooler? Besides, we're still technically in class right now. Because I don't feel like drawing. But drawing is part of our grade, and it's an important part of learning. Learning? Ugh, I hate that word. Oh, is that so? Why do you hate it? I mean, because learning isn't going to be useful for my future. Um, perhaps most of what we study won't be... yeah. So you agree with me there? You look like someone that likes to study, though. How can she tell the difference? By the way, what's your name again? It's Reita Usui. My name is Narumi Sakuraba. You could just call me Narumi. Okay, Sakuraba-san. na ru mi Narumi-san? Yep. I'll call you Reita kun then. So, going back to what we were talking about earlier, why do you think everyone studies? Is it for their future? Sounds about right. There's about a $600,000 lifetime salary difference between someone that has a university degree and someone with only a high school degree. What? That much? I mean, Japanese society still prioritizes educational background. Man, I hate thinking about my future. I don't want to have to study if I don't like doing it. I'd rather just have fun now. What? Besides, do we even need calculus? How is that going to help us in the future? All we need is simple math like addition and subtraction. I bet she's the type of person that was able to do math in middle school but ran away from STEM because she couldn't do harder level math. I mean, you probably won't use higher level math in real life. It's important to study it if you're in a field that requires it though like engineering or medicine. Then why do you think we all need to study it in school? reita -kun, do you think there's any purpose in learning math? Well, yeah, in my case. For example, a sakura, or cherry blossom, like your last name. How many petals does a cherry blossom have? Uh, five? Then how about a lily? Um, I don't know. The answer is three. Chrysanthemums have eight, and marigolds have thirteen, by the way. Cool, you know a lot of things. These are simple facts. By the way, this is called the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence? There's a phenomenon in nature where things follow a sequence of numbers that go from 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on. For example, if you add 1 and 1, you'll get 2. If you add 2 and 1, you'll get 3. If you try to add 2 and 3, you'll get 5. The numbers keep increasing like that. Hmm. And what do you 
you trying to tell me? I'm trying to say that numbers are all around us, even in nature. A good example are the petals on flowers. I thought that numbers were really interesting after I learned this fact. Despite the fact that numbers were created by humans, the laws of nature still follow these rules. Hmm. Another example is the golden ratio, which is derived from the Fibonacci sequence. Oh, I think I've heard of that one. Yeah, it's commonly used to give the length and width of notebooks or printing paper. The law basically gives us a golden number that's approximately 1.618. Apparently everything beautiful has this perfect golden proportion. Now that I think of it, I think that your face has the golden ratio. Huh? You have perfect facial proportions. No wonder everyone says you're the school's number one beauty. R really Yes, well, I think you have a pretty face. What? So what I'm trying to say is that things that we think are beautiful in this world, as well as the Fibonacci sequence, are all related to numbers. Is anything wrong? N nothing's wrong. Your face is red, though. If you have a fever, maybe we should go to the nurse. I said nothing's wrong. If you say so. She sure gets angry quickly. But I think I'm a little interested now. Is that so? I'm glad that you were able to find learning interesting. N not that. I mean... If it's not about learning, then what? Um, what I'm saying is... Uh, never mind. So, like, I want to ask you a favor. Do you think you could, like, tutor me? <laughs> me? Is that a no? Sure. Yeah, I knew you'd say no. Wait, you will? I said sure, didn't I? Teaching others actually helps with retention of the material. Uh, oh? I'm usually free during breaks, so come ask me if you have any questions. Uh, oh, okay. He's kind of like a robot. He hasn't changed his facial expression even once while talking to me. Maybe he's not interested in girls? Or is he just like this with me? Narumi, I found you! <laughs> I didn't think you'd be here. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, you found me. So, what were you two talking about earlier? N nothing really. I was just talking to him because I was bored. Hmm, doesn't he seem like an introvert? D does he? Oh, I get it now. She was talking to me because she was bored. Hmm. They say art can be perfected by following numbers, but this sure is hard. And that was what happened. Narumi-san was joking when she said she wanted me to tutor her. Either way, I submitted this poorly drawn art piece to my teacher. The next day, the art piece was published with the title Environmental Issues. Art sure is confusing. After school the next day... So, can you tutor me like you promised? Huh? Oh, uh, okay. I guess the tutoring part wasn't a joke. So I ended up helping her study. Reita-kun, do you have a crush on anyone? Huh? A crush? Why are you asking? Why I'm asking? Uh, just tell me if you do. What is a crush in the first place? Uh, what? Love is an emotion I don't understand. Please, explain it to me. So, it's basically like you feel like you want to spend all your time with this person. That's your own opinion, right? No, it's not. It's basic information. Then is there statistical data for that? If there are surveys, I think that will be good enough evidence. We don't need data. Well then, I don't understand it very well. Are you able to explain it more in detail? Um, it's like you feel content and comfortable with that person. And you want to be physically close to them. I still don't understand it very well. Are you talking about a human's adrenaline reactions? Huh? Reaction? What's that? The game of tag is a good example. Uh-huh. Tag? The closer the it player gets to tagging the other players, the more accomplished they feel. Research says that those people feel a rush of motivation a few seconds before they tag another player. Accomplishment? Motivation? There's another reaction that deals with avoidance. The more nervous or uncomfortable you feel by getting close to something, the more relief you feel by getting away from it. Um, I don't understand what you're saying. Basically, the feeling of love or like is a fight between your human reactions of wanting to be close, yet avoided at the same time. When you like someone, you want to get close to them, but at the same time you get nervous that they'll turn you down. That's how those two play a big role in the feeling of having a crush. Oh, I understand that. Sounds a bit too logical, though. Well, I wouldn't know, because I don't have anyone to feel that way towards. Huh? So, what was this entire conversation about? You could have avoided the whole explanation by saying you don't have a crush on anyone. I really think he's a robot now. That night, I thought about what it means to have a crush on someone. 
I wasn't able to handle emotions very well. I don't even know if I have proper emotions in the first place. A lot happened in my childhood, and I ended up adopted when I was young. The people who became my foster parents were never home because of work, and I only had the housekeeper to keep me company. But the housekeeper wasn't very friendly, so the house always felt empty. No one complained as long as I kept my grades up, so I spent a lot of time studying. Yet no one taught me about emotions and relationships the way normal families do. Day after day, after classes, Narumi-san continued to talk to me, and we would study together. She took everything I taught her seriously, and used it well in her schoolwork. Strangely, she was always smiling. I knew she was happy her grades were going up, but I didn't know how to respond to that. One day, during one of our study sessions... Hey, Reita-kun! Would it be a bother if I told you that I liked you? Huh? Why would it be a bother? Really? Then... Will you go out with me? As in, like a relationship? Why? Well, why Because I like you! I don't think that's a valid reason. Huh? People can be in a relationship without having feelings for each other. For example, as a result of financial issues or for assurance with their future... What? Nothing like marriage, a simple high school relationship! Then what do you gain from being in a relationship with me? I can continue to help you study even if we don't date. It's not about using you to gain something. Well, if it's not like that, then is it about possessiveness? Or protective instincts like a parent? No! It's something more simple than that! I like you, so I want to spend more time with you. It's the feeling of wanting to hold hands, hug, and kiss. Uh... I'm saying that I like you. Can you explain why you like me in specific detail? And with data? I don't have data. I like you because I like you. I still don't think I understand. Huh? I understand the fact that you like me. However, if you ask me if I feel that emotion as well, then I'm not sure. I got it. I won't bother you anymore. Goodbye, you robot. Uh, I wonder why Narumi-san is angry. I guess I am a robot. For a week after that, Narumi didn't speak a word to me. What I said to him was terrible. Ugh. Why does it bother me so much? Why do I keep thinking about Reita-kun? I don't see you around that boy much recently. What's his name again? Robot-kun? Are you talking about Reita? Uh, Usui-kun? Yeah, yeah. I know you like to bother him because it's funny. <laughs> yeah. I was bothering him because he's just so logical and so boring. No, that's not it at all. Huh? Reita-kun? Oh, it's you, Robot-kun! Oh, uh, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Sorry. Did he hear our conversation? Wait, Reita-kun! Narumi? I ran away out of the hallway, but when I did, Narumi-san chased after me. Hold on! That wasn't the truth! You were just bothering me, right? You were just bothering a boring robot-like guy? No, that's not true! I'm actually a terrible person. I just go along with what everyone says and can't hold my own opinion. I don't really know myself. That's also me. I don't really know myself either. Huh? I told Narumi-san all about my past. Because I was raised like that, I always had a difficult time understanding people's feelings and emotions. I don't even know how to understand how I'm feeling right now. It's just like you said, I'm a robot. I always wondered whether a robot like me with no emotions could be of any help to someone in the future. That was when you suddenly appeared, Narumi-san. Me? I thought about a lot of things during the week I didn't see you. I would think about your smile while studying, and for some reason, suddenly I'd be smiling too. It's the first time I've ever felt this way. So it's strange. I think I went to see you today because I wanted to get close to you. But at the same time, I ran away out of instinct. I wanted to be around you. But once I found out that you didn't actually like me... Reita-kun... But I'm glad, now that I know that you don't really like me. I realize that I'm able to feel emotions. I was able to feel sadness thanks to you. I feel like I'm one step closer to being human. Huh? Narumi-san? That was all a lie! I actually love you. Please, believe me. I was the same as you. I wanted to be around you all the time. But at the same time, I was nervous. Narumi-san. So from now on, let's talk about those feelings together. We should communicate when we're feeling happy or sad. Either way, I don't think I'm able to be in a relationship with you right now. Why not? If I don't understand the meaning of love, I think that I'm going to end up hurting you. And that also scares me. So please, can you wait a little bit for this robot to be completely human? Reita-kun, you're 
not a robot anymore. Are you sure about that? But yes, when we hug, I feel safe and comfortable. Me too. I want you to hug me once in a while. Of course. Anytime you want. After that incident, Narumi-san and I's relationship returned to normal. Yet, I would feel uneasy sometimes. Hey, where are you looking? Um, just thinking about the golden ratio you have there. Excuse me? Wait, Reita-kun, are you feeling nervous and shy right now? No, of course not. Really. Liar! How'd you know? Because it's written all over your face. It's so obvious. Uh, before I knew it, my emotionless face turned into one that revealed what I was feeling immediately. Narumi-san could easily tell what I was feeling or thinking. Phew! Studying was super tiring today! Yeah, um... Huh? What's up? Before we go home, do you want to go and eat some dessert? Huh? Um, you know, because it's good to eat sweets when you're exhausted. Yay! It's a date then! Oh, well, no. This isn't like a date. Besides, a date is when a male and female... Thanks to Narumi-san, I think I evolved from a complete robot into something more human. The way I feel about her, the way that I want to protect her and make her happy, I think those are all human emotions. My name is Kaishi Yamakawa. I'm a laid-back gamer who doesn't feel guilty at all about skipping school. Sometimes I stay up late to play games. At times, I skip school altogether on days when games go on sale. I'm a pro at skipping school, but I never skip my studies. I managed to get up today, but to be honest, I'm really sleepy. I'm not doing any distributing, but I'm into rank matching, so I don't have enough time. I'm also doing my school, so my parents don't get angry, so again, I have no time. And this is when bumping into that person is irksome, so better to make my to school at a leisurely pace. Hey, Yamakawa, you're gonna get hit by a car strolling down the street like that. Shoot. What do you mean by that? Nothing. I happened to meet the one person that morning that I was desperately avoiding. Standing there before me was our school president. Her name is Yushio Nanase. She's not a straight-laced and a stubborn type. She comes across as nice so the kids like her. Nah, maybe that's saying too little. She's also really cute so the guys are all clamoring after her. And she got a good personality, so the teachers love her. In other words, completely different from me. I think you got potential, Mr. Yamakawa. You should try harder. Yeah, you think? Gotta get out of here. Head home to continue that game, I guess. Hey, which way are you going? We're going to school together, right? But she blocked my way. Yushio is not a childhood friend or a fellow classmate. During the first year of high school, she sat next to me and ever since she's been on my back about leading a more disciplined life. During the second year, I figured we would be transferred, but we ended up again being in the same class. So her attempts at giving me lifestyle change is still active. What am I, cursed? You were probably playing games all day yesterday, right? You got a good head on your shoulders and if you try hard enough, I bet you could get into the top 10. Games are my life. School is just something I'm forced to do. No game, no life. That's it. Mmm. In those YA books, the heroine suddenly shows an interest in games. Is that what we see here? I just can't understand what's so fun about games. Oh, really? Well, that's the reality for you. You don't have to play games if you don't want, and besides, I'm living the way I want, the way I was supposed to. But, it's good to have something that you can get so excited about. Hmm, her voice seems different today. I envy you, that you have something that you love. Something you would do anything for, you know. Long as I have this, I don't need anything else. Yeah, I guess. It's not that I don't need anything else. But I opted not to make a stink about it. To be honest, you're like, perfect. You get along with everyone, you're smart and beautiful. Out of my reach for sure. I bet her lifestyle can get a bit boring, even a bit tiring. Hey, are you showing me some compassion? Huh? You got a kind streak, I see. You're giving me second thoughts. Huh? I didn't really mean anything by it. 
so am I really out of reach? Are my looks really your type? You want to get closer and have a better look? No thanks. What's up with her? She suddenly turned into a she-devil. Sorry, I was just pulling your leg. <laughs> boy, oh boy. It's tiring banting with the raving beauty. But it seems she was trying too hard for some reason. Maybe you should try skipping school and doing something you love. Like me. I just sort of blurted that out. Something I love, huh? Well, now that you say that, I may just do that. She nodded and seemed to be contemplating my suggestion. I never thought this conversation would later cause tremendous upheaval down the road. During lunch break is a time when we can clearly see the class's pecking order. Other classmates are constantly around Yushio. That encounter in the morning seems like night and day. The well-mannered and beautiful Yushio is a sight to see. I could never be in that position, but her? No problem. Or so I thought. Hey, Nanase. There's someone that wants to go out sometime. When are you free? Free? I really don't have time now. Really? Any time is okay, even just an hour. One hour, huh? Hmm, maybe I can find some time. Usually, she would just ignore such requests. What's up with her? Is she feeling under the weather? Well, I guess it has nothing to do with me. Okay, one hour. I guess I could squeeze you in somewhere. Got nothing to do with me, but I can't help but be annoyed. I got sick of the bubblehead antics and flawless beauty crap and stood up from my desk. Hey, Yushio, come with me on my lunch break. That was the promise, wasn't it? After I abruptly called on her, the whole class started murmuring. I too kind of befuddled too, but I tried not to show it. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot all about it. Let's talk later, okay? She's quick-witted, so she kind of got where I was coming from. Boy, it's super hot today. For a guy who's always playing games indoors, I would just up and day in the weather. So, what do you want to do? Want me to get a volleyball? Aren't you serious? Don't want to lie, do you? She doesn't even ask why I called her out. She just talks as if she knows it all. Ever heard the term ends justify the means? Depending on the circumstances, lies can be a righteous tool. Bet you thought of that right this second. If you want to make me work out in this blazing heat, you better bring me the ocean. Even a genie could not grant that wish. What kind of retort is that? Hey, you always say that I'm straight laced and such beauty and all that. But could you just stop with that? Mm, getting angry while smiling, huh? Nice. It's a fact, isn't it? I mean, you were talking to those guys, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. But why did you bail me out back there? No reason. I just felt like doing it is all. No deep meaning to it. If I say it was because I was ticked off at those girls, she may get the wrong idea. Just felt like it, huh? With that, she seemed to be in deep thought. The next morning, I was tired from lack of sleep due to overindulging myself with a game, which just didn't seem to go smoothly. Guess lack of sleep is a daily occurrence. I kind of feel it was all Yusho's fault, but I tried to push it out of my head. Well, I'm a bit late anyway, so probably won't run into her. Hey, Yamakawa! Huh? What are you doing here? A little late to get to homeroom. And to go there with the school's degenerate? No way. You were later than usual, so I thought you'd taken the day off. It seems she was waiting for me. Hey, let's go together. Yeah, sure. Okay. If we don't want to be tardy, we gotta run, right? Maybe we should run. Huh? We don't have to do that. We can take the train. Train? In any way, the train station is in the opposite direction. Right? Okay, let's take the bus there. Hey, have gone bonkers studying too much? So that's why she's been having errors all day yesterday. Poor girl. Why'd you stop looking at me with such pity? But, you know... It's the advice you gave me anyway. I just want you to escort me is all. Why don't you just ask one of your adoring hunks? Wait a sec. Did she just say advice? I don't have a good feeling about this. It means I'm gonna skip school today. Are you serious? I brought plenty of cash, so don't you worry. Two hours to our destination. Two hours? Two hours by train? Where the hell are we going? Let's go. 
this supposedly straight lace led me away. I guess it's the first time she's gonna skip school. I just went along, took the bus, bought a ticket, and got on the train. I suppose I could have just walked away, but I felt bad for her to be honest. She seemed to be having so much fun on this sort of journey. But she would constantly grab my finger or hang on to my bag. She simply would not let go. I guess she feels a bit frustrated. Then she shouldn't have skipped school, I suppose. But I didn't say anything. Wow, this is really the ocean, we're here! Seriously? Two hours by bus and train. Me and the school's top student skipped school and arrived at the beach. I'm not really sure what I'm saying. So, what are you going to do now? Huh? I see. Haven't put any thought into it? Okay, then let's go home. Quest completed. Wait one second, let me think about it! Okay, relax. Well, I got to see her being flustered for the first time. May as well go along for a bit. Honestly, I was having some fun. How about running on the beach? What is this? Preschool recess? Look for pretty seashells? Mmm. Not used to skipping school, huh? I can't help it. I've never done this skipping school stuff before. Why did you decide to skip school anyway? Well, that's because... You don't really have to tell me, but if you're having some difficulty or something, I'm willing to listen. It's not that I'm distressed or anything. She stayed quiet for a while, and then finally spoke up. Our family's filled with doctors, lawyers, or politicians. Anyways, we're that type of family. A whole other world. I'm just trash. So, I'm studying to be a lawyer. But recently, I'm just doing what I'm told. And I'm starting to think if it's the right thing. You know? It's like some sort of worry an anime character would have. However, it seems to be a real worry for her. Okay, I get it. You wanted to skip school and see the ocean. You think? I'm not really sure myself. Thanks for getting me involved with something you don't understand. I just felt you would come along with me. What? What do you mean by that? But you did come along, right? I'm gonna check the train schedule for the return trip. Not just yet. She quickly reached out and grabbed my smartphone from my hands. Hey! She abruptly stands up. Come on, I changed my mind. Let's run! So, you take my smartphone as a hostage and we play tag, right? Come on, Yanagawa. If you don't catch me, I won't give your smartphone back. She's pretty fast at running on the beach. She is not only popular, but also athletic. Me, on the other hand, tend to quickly get out of breath. <sighs> I can't run any further. Huh? You're kidding, right? You're way out of shape. Sat there hunched over on the sandy beach. She laughed and approached me by grabbing my hand. Ah! It's my strategy! You fell for it! I immediately released my hand. <laughs> my strategy worked like a charm. Well, not really. Oh shoot, gotta fix this. You're okay, the bottom half can still be salvaged. Then at that moment a wave appeared. What do you mean by the bottom can be salvaged? Ha, huh, I didn't mean anything by it. I was taken aback by her pitiful appearance. It's your fault, you surprised me. We're both at fault. I didn't expect this so I didn't bring a change of clothes. Gah, I could see. Her soaking wet shirt had clung to her body. There's probably a hotel nearby that has a shower, right? Yamakawa, could you search for... Hey, did I look strange or something? She followed my gaze and realized the situation. Ah, stop staring! Don't look at me! I'm not looking! I'm not! You liar! How could you lie so blatantly? She covers her body with her arms and the smartphone falls from her hands. My game data! My smartphone. Waterproof. Phew. So that smartphone is more important than me, is that it? I don't know what you're saying. My pride was hurt, but I don't mind showing you. What? That's not an option. Take a look. I'm gonna take a look at my smartphone, thank you. You're more interested in the top half, not the bottom half, right? I'm not interested in such categories. What's with this class president? 
aren't going to be the only ones to lose. Take that! Huh. She drenched me with seawater. Now we're both soaked. What now? Better together than alone, right? She's wacky. I searched for a hotel nearby. I found a hotel where they allow the use of the shower. A lot of surfers apparently use this service. The hotel staff seemed surprised to see two high schoolers drenched to the bone. But the hotel staff was like, Oh, you poor kids, wink wink. Apparently getting the wrong idea. Wow, today was some day, huh? Don't want to hear that coming from you. That's my line. <laughs> but all in all, it was fun. That radiant smile. Oh, uh, I was a bit turned on. As is disguising my feelings, I said, If you can laugh like that, you should do it all the time, huh? Hey, why are you just turned on by my smile? No way. What's with her? She is a bit screwy. Straight-laced and all, in reality, you're no different. It's not about being real. I'm just acting this way just for you. Huh? What do you mean? Like she's saying, no need to be mindful around me or something. Hope you fall flat on your face so day. Do you think I'm just some punching bag? Didn't really mean it that way. Boy, are you thick-headed? What? Did she just bellyache about something in a tiny voice? Nothing. If you can't get it through your thick skull, leave it for next time. Who? Tough bird. I'm bushed. If your parents get angry, just put the blame on me. Huh? I mean, there is no reason for a goody-goody like you to skip school, right? So just say you were helping out the class clown or something. I'm used to that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. Thanks. After that, she just sort of shut up. I just can't understand women. Okay, then let's get going. Got boring school again tomorrow. Boring? That's your fault, isn't it? The reason school is boring is the school's fault, isn't it? If they would prepare some fun event or something. That's a real distorted view to take. Anyway, I'll do something about that. What do you mean by that? Without getting a straight answer, the train began to move out of the station and our little journey came to an end. Boy, he really doesn't have much energy. Living life as he pleases. At first, I was just a bit curious about him, but I didn't think he would indulge me this far. I think maybe I'm starting to like this guy. It was super fun today. What am I gonna do? Seems tomorrow's gonna be even more fun. Nanase san, are you okay? I heard you were under the weather yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see it in her expression, but under it all, I bet she's smiling. She should just open like a clam at the beach and just laugh to her heart's desire. But from a guy like me, I have no persuasive power. At the moment, she blurted out. I skipped school yesterday. What? I didn't think I'd hear a joke from you. <laughs> no joke, I was really skipping school. Mr. Yamakawa here taught me how. What? No. No. I'm the victim here. When I saw her face, it was the same radiant smile I saw at the beach. But that smile was a bit she-devilish. Feels like I would get sucked into her charm. Better get the hell out of here. But I was unable to escape. With all the classmates standing around, she said only so I could hear. Please take responsibility and teach me, okay? That will make school way more fun, right? What do you mean by responsibility? I want to ask, but couldn't. But there's one thing I know. With her by my side, school may just be a fun place to be. One week before summer holidays began, during lunchtime... <sighs> If I had a girlfriend, my summer holidays would be so fun. Why can't a girl just fall down on me from the sky? I was talking to myself. <laughs> what? Have my prayers been answered? A beautiful girl came falling down from the sky! I'm Seiji Aoki. Today, I'm staying at home, trying to recover from my injury from what happened yesterday. I live alone, so there's nobody around who can help me. But it was just a bruise on my lower back, so I've mostly recovered already. My teacher told me to stay home, just in case. So, I had nothing much to do. I was playing games and reading manga all day. That's when my doorbell rang. I checked the monitor to see who was out there. 
And I was shot? I... I'm coming! Hello? What are you doing here, Himekawa-san? I opened the door to see Kotoi Himekawa standing there. She's also a sophomore in high school, like me. But she's a little short. And her adorable facial structure makes her look like an 8th grader. Due to her looks, she has a lot of admirers, both male and female. What could she be doing here? She looks annoyed for some reason. I guess it's because of what happened yesterday. This is for you. Huh? Thank you. Has your back healed yet? I think so. Well, thanks for that, but- Wait a minute! Himikawa-san came into my house! Wow! I heard from the teacher, but you actually do live alone! Um, yeah, but why did you come in? <laughs> because I'm also going to be living here. Oh, I... Huh? Live here? Yep, thanks for having me, Seiki Aoki-kun. What on earth is she thinking? I know it's gonna do something with what happened yesterday. I caught Koto Himekawa-san, who came falling down from the sky. I figured I couldn't just let her fall to the ground. Koto san who was really light, was in my arms looking at me with her cute and big eyes and... <coughs> hey! Himekawa-san, calm down! Stop touching me like that! I'm letting go of you, right? <coughs> she held me tight and pressed my face into her cleavage! Hmm, I must say, she certainly got better assets than I would have imagined. No, what am I even thinking? I'll let go of you right now, so calm down! <gasps> Stop it! Ah, you're tickling me! <laughs> Please, listen to me! Finally, she let go of me. So why did you come falling down from the sky? Look at that. Himekawa-san was glaring at me and pointing her finger over our heads. There was a cat meowing at the top of a tree. Right beside the emergency staircase. A cat? That cat isn't able to get down. I see. You were trying to save it, huh? Yes. Now that I understood the situation, I climbed up the tree to get the cat. Surprisingly, the kitten put up a lot of resistance. In the end, I was able to catch it, but... I fell to the ground. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Don't climb up places like that anymore, all right? Hey, you! Why don't you get up? Wow, not a single are you okay for me? You really love cats, huh? Huh? When you came falling down, your panties happened to come into- <gasps> uh, Pervert! Himikawa was angry that I saw something I shouldn't have. She ran off with the kitten in her arms. I was left lying there on the ground. A teacher happened to find me, and I was brought to the nurse's office after that. She must have something up her sleeve. No cute girl starts living with a man just like that. I was suspiciously looking at Himekawa-san, who was lying on my bed. Hey, are you trying to look at my panties again? No, I was just wondering why you have on your mind. It's not normal to barge into someone's house like this. Uh, but I just told you, I'm living here. Why do you want to live here? You saw my underwear yesterday. But that was an accident. And you touched me all over the place. That's because of you. And don't phrase it that way. In other words, you need to take responsibility for your actions. In other words, you need to take care of me. What sort of logic is that? Let's say that you're white and I'm responsible for what happened yesterday. It doesn't make sense for you to start living here. Huh, I don't care. No, you shouldn't be living with a male classmate. You don't know what might happen. No problem. If anything happens, I'll tell all my friends. That doesn't make everything all right. Which means if anything goes wrong, it's the end of me, both physically and socially. But wait a minute. Living together with Himekawa-san must mean that she'll cook food for me, right? That doesn't sound so bad after all. Oh, and by the way, I can't do any kind of housework, just to let you know. Whoa! On our fourth day together, she's telling me that she's the clumsy type! <sighs> How did this happen? I hope myself in order to help her. Now that I think about it, I'm toast! I can't let this happen! Himikawa-san, actually... Call me Kotori. I'm taking a nap right now. Call me when dinner's done! Uh, Himika... Kotori-san? <sighs> um... Wow, that was quick. She's so cute when she's asleep, too. Kind of like a cat. Oh. 
Speaking of cats, I'll put a blanket on her so that her underwear isn't showing. And that's how I suddenly got a roommate. I honestly don't know what she's up to, but she must have a good reason for all of this. Right when I finished making dinner, Kotori-san woke up. Mmm, smells tasty. Oh, I was just about to wait. Whoa, I think you're revealing too much! Huh? Hey, stop looking, pervert! Oh my, I can't get a moment to relax. As I thought, great assets. Mmm, delicious. I never knew you were a good cook. <laughs> I'm happy you're enjoying it. The way Kotori-san was enjoying the food looked kind of like an adorable small animal. I felt like I was feeding a pet. By the way, did you tell your parents that you were going to be staying over at my place? No, I told the maid, but I still haven't talked to my parents. Huh? Is that all right? Well, my parents kind of leave me alone. They never tell me to do anything except get good grades. When she said that, she looked a little sad. I asked her about her family. Apparently her parents are witch and don't take care of anything around the house. Everything is left up to the maid, and though not home very often. Could that be why Kotori-san ran away from home? I was starting to feel sympathy for home. But... Okay, time to take a bath together. Wait a minute! That has to be going too far! But I can't wash my hair myself! By the way, no lewd stuff allowed. I'm not going to be doing anything, but I might see some parts of your body. If you look at anything, I'll be telling all of my friends. Not fail! What am I supposed to do? Phew, that's a relief. By coincidence, she had her swimsuit with her, which she needed for school that day. If she has a swimsuit on, I'll be able to hold myself together. What are you doing? Come over here, quick! <gasps> Correction! Gojo-san in a swimsuit was too powerful for me. Don't think. I just have to wash her hair. I must say, her skin is super smooth. And she's got great figure. Hey, you were having dirty thoughts. What are you talking about? Of course I wasn't. I'm focusing on washing your hair. I can't open my eyes right now. If you take advantage of that, I'm never going to forgive you. I know. You really have to... Oh, oh no! Whoa! I couldn't believe it. Kotori-san actually slipped over and fell on top of me. I told you, no lewd stuff! <laughs> Kotori-san, get off of me! Hey, stop moving! I can feel your weird places! After the little accident in the bath, we decided on a few rules for us to live together. Rule number one, no lewd stuff like what just happened in the bath. I know, but you're always the one who creates those situations, Kotori-san. Number two, no complaining! No fail! Kotori-san, I'm not going to touch you, but it's impossible not to think about these things. I'm an ordinary high school student! All right, I'll allow you to have those thoughts then. After that, she got under the blanket and immediately fell asleep. Uh, that's my bed! I guess I'll have to sleep on the floor now. I woke up next morning with something soft touching me. Wait a minute. Kotori-san? This is definitely a whole fault. Why is she in my futon anyway? <laughs> this looks tasty. Ah! You're so loud. What's going on? Oh my god! Why are you sleeping right beside me? I should be the one asking that! Now get off me! Ah! What? Hey! I can't breathe! Hey! Hey! Stop touching me! I need to emphasize this part. This is all because of Kotori-san. Definitely not my fault. Of course, we stay away from each other at school. Need to make sure nobody finds out. Hmm? Oh, did you change your shampoo to a new one? Did you notice? I've actually been staying at a friend's place since. <gasps> I'm so scared that she's going to slip her tongue. After three days of living with her, I was starting to get used to my new life. But that was when another huge problem occurred. Kotori-san... You have a lot of dirty laundry. Why can't you wash them with yours? My maid always did it for me, so I don't know how to do it. But then again, you know, you have your underwear that needs to be washed too. Oh, okay. It can't be helped. I'm going to allow you to take care of my underwear too. Um, I'm not asking you for your permission. I can teach you how to use the washing machine, so... Could you do it yourself? There were so many traps in our daily life. It was too stimulating for a guy like me. I didn't know if I was going to be able to keep this up. That's when the doorbell rang. Say 
Georgie. I came to see you. Mom! Oh, no. Caught a wizard. Hide somewhere. Hey, what are you... Ow! What are you touching? Seiji, I hear a girl screaming from inside. Now let me in. This was only the beginning of my problems. Ugh. <sighs>